There are few weather conditions quite as cinematic as snow, but the practicality of working in it is a logistical nightmare. Unpredictable, infrequent and only temporary. All of these make for a difficult film shoot, and so various methods have been used throughout the history of film as substitutes to create the effect of wintry weather in the most unlikely of places. Ironically, for Dr. Zhivago, David Lean's breathtaking cinematic portrayal of the Russian Revolution, none of the film was shot in Russia at all, as the book the film was adapted from was banned by the Kremlin. Lean was tasked with recreating the wintry Russian landscape outside of the Soviet Union. What's more, in Madrid of all places during the summertime. In order to create the snow, an entire quarry of marble was brought out and crushed into a fine powder. This was then scattered over the scene, turning it from a Spanish vista into a barren snowscape. For Kubrick's horror masterpiece, The Shining, many of the exteriors of the Overlook Hotel were shot at the Timberline Lodge in Oregon. However, the one thing which the Timberline didn't have was a hedge maze, a set piece which was to feature in the film's finale. This was instead created at MGM Borenwood Studios in Hertfordshire, and for the settled snow, over 900 tonnes of salt was used. The falling snow was created using crushed styrofoam. Prior to Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life, the standard means of creating a snow effect in Hollywood was to use white-painted cornflakes, but the sound of them crunching underfoot meant the dialogue often had to be redubbed in post. Capra insisted on recording dialogue live for the film, and so an entirely new means of creating snow had to be developed by RKO Studios. A formula of water, soap and the firefighting chemical fomite was created and ran at high pressure through a wind machine. 6,000 gallons of fake snow was used in the film's production. Today, the improved quality of CGI software has made creating the effect of snow a much easier task for independent and studio filmmakers alike. However, these tools have not overshadowed the popularity of set dressing on modern features. Diverse and eco-friendly snow effects have been pioneered by independent companies who have created artificial ice and snow for some of the biggest features in recent years. It just goes to show that despite the popularity of digital effects, there is still no substitute for the real thing.